Hello and welcome. Recently, a couple of my subscribers asked me to do a bike check for them. Well, the thing is, I've got a sufficient number of bikes, by good fortune and luck, that I'm breaking it up into two videos. First one is going to be all mountain bikes. The second one is going to be road bikes, hybrids, and one that's a little bit difficult to classify. You'll know it when you see it. So, sit back and I hope enjoy. First up, here is my oldest bike. It's a 1983 Schwinn Traveler 12-speed. It's a steel frame bike made in Taiwan, which alone should give you an idea of the vintage. I got this bike for a mere $30 a few years ago at a tag sale. All I had to do was clean it and replace the bar tape, tires, and saddle, and I started riding, and it's a great riding bike. Last summer I did have it serviced by my local bike shop because after all it's got a few years on it. It has 27 inch alloy wheels front and rear with spiffy looking replacement tan wall tires. Up top it has the stock drop bars and dual lever brakes and down tube friction shifters. The front mech is a modular 2x with the original crank set and pedals. Out back, the six-speed freewheel and derailleur are also factory issue. Now, the saddle is just a cheap padded one that I got from Wish, since this bike has been on my indoor trainer the past two years. Next up is my 1988 Schwinn World Sport, which is also a steel-framed 12-speed bike. I bought it from a guy whose wife told him to sell it or ride it. And I'm guessing Profit was not part of that conversation since he sold it to me for 25 bucks. At the time, it had new Kenda tires that were worth twice that. At any rate, this bike is in near mint condition and I love the way it rides. And if I can be so bold, it's a darn good looking bike. But being unable to leave anything alone, I added blue bar tape to jazz it up and it kind of matches the graphics. Up front it has the factory drop bars and the dual lever brakes just like the Traveler. Shifting is handled by stem shifters which can be set up for either indexed or friction mode and I run the bike in friction mode. Wheels are 27 inches with Bontrager T2 tires. The drivetrain is 2x6 with a 2x crank set and derailleur up front and a 6-speed freewheel and 6-speed rear derailleur out back. All factory issue. This red beauty is my Nishiki Maricopa, which really got me back into road cycling. I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods for just $299, marked down from $799. I have just been completely pleased with this bike since day one. It has performed flawlessly and it is a real joy to ride. Plus, it's my favorite color. It is all aluminum, stem to stern with Shimano Claris combo shifters. The wheels are stock 700 C's with Kenda Contenda tires. The front drive train is a Claris front derailleur and a 3x FSA crankset to which I fitted Look Keo Sprint clipless pedals. The rear drivetrain is a Claris rear derailleur and a Sunrace, I believe, 11 to 28 8 speed cassette. I replaced the saddle with a San Marco Aspide carbon fiber one, which I really like. It may not look comfortable but trust me, it's a great saddle. Let me introduce to you my pride and joy, my retirement bike, or as I sometimes think of it, my gold watch. I bought a new old stock aluminum frame and fork last winter, and over a couple of months built this bike to specifically suit my tastes. The thing is, I am retiring on July 1st, 2020, 
and this was my retirement present to myself. The cockpit consists of an up and bike compact aluminum drop bar with micro shift 2x10 combo shifters which incidentally work really well. The brakes are mid-grade Tektro dual pivots that I got from my local bike shop. Wheels front and back are Alex rims with Shimano Claris hubs also from my local bike shop. The front mech is a micro shift front derailleur and a Shimano semi-compact Holotech 2x crankset with Look Keo Sprint clipless pedals. The rear mech is a micro shift 10 speed derailleur and a Shimano Altegra 10 speed cassette. The saddle is the same model as on my Nishiki, which is to say a carbon fiber San Marco Aspide. This is my Hyper Spin Fit 700C. In fact, it's the third one that I have bought and modded. My sister and my nephew have the first two. Now, I built this as a commuter bike, and then the COVID-19 crisis hit, and by the time I was ready to commute to work, I was working from home, so I technically don't need a commuter bike. And even though I don't need it per se, I still like to ride this bike around the neighborhood. I really like the way the hydroformed aluminum frame looks. Up top, I replaced the quill stem with an adapter and added a wake stem and a wake handlebar. Shifting is done with a SRAM X4 trigger shifter. This build was inspired by my purchase of a pair of vintage Mavic 700C wheels. And I tell you what, these are as smooth as silk. The front drive train is a 34 tooth one by with an IXF crank set and a snail, and yeah, that's the name, a snail narrow wide chain ring. In the rear, the derailleur is a SRAM X4 and the gears are a Sunrace mega range eight speed freewheel. I'm still riding on the factory saddle and honestly, I have no immediate plans to change that. This is my Signal Montauk hybrid bike. I have had it for quite a while now, and for a few years it was actually my commuter bike. But as other bikes came into my stable, this fell into disuse and parts were repurposed. Now that I have the spin fit, I decided to reassemble the Montauk with a purpose in mind, which I'll get to. I had an idea to paint it like Van Gogh's Starry Night, which is my favorite painting ever, but I never got around to it, which is why it is now finished in matte blue. Anyway, I installed a set of Shimano Revo twist shifters, new inner and outer cables, a spare set of alloy brake levers, and a wake front V-brake up front. Wheels and tires front and back are zero mile takeoffs from my SpinFit 700C in size. The drivetrain is the factory 2x Olivio up front and out back with the Sunrace 7 speed freewheel from the SpinFit. It more or less matches what it originally had. The saddle is from Walmart. Now, here's the thing I'm holding on to this bike so that I can donate it to somebody who may need basic transportation through a ministry through my church. And last but certainly not least, here is my Huffy Cranbrook. This bike is the result of an extreme budget build. I got the bike for around $88 and I stripped off anything that it did not absolutely need. My goal was to build a cheap modern version of a clunker bike. Now, though I have ridden it on a couple of trails and some dirt roads, which, by the way, is huge fun, mostly I tool around the neighborhood with it. I do like that this is a very basic no-frills bicycle. Now, the big beach cruiser handlebar is long gone, replaced with an Originate quill adapter and a carbon fiber handlebar of eh, sketchy provenance which will soon be replaced with an aluminum bar. I swapped the stock road tires for these Bell Tiny Knobbies, 
that I got for next to nothing when Kmart was closing down and a $10 BMX style front brake handles the braking. The wheels are stock Huffy 26's front and rear. The crank set is the factory one piece one by with snafu alloy pedals from Walmart. The saddle is a leftover from one of my earlier hyper spin fits. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this look at my road bike collection. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. It does help. And if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And I would like to wish you health and happiness in these trying times in which we find ourselves. In closing, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it when you do. Bye.